मातृत्व के आवाज प्रोग्राम की खास पेशकश में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है और आज मैं एक ऐसे शख्सियत से मिलाने वाला हूं डॉक्टर जो कि यहां पर इंडिया में आके अपनी सेवा देते हैं मां गंगा यमुना का उद्गम जिला उत्तरकाशी मातली में आप सेवा देते हैं मात्र फोर्टी रुपीज पहले दिन चार्ज देते हैं उसके बाद टेन रुपीज देते हैं और कई सालों से यहां पर सेवा देते हैं पूछ के देखता हूं सर वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू टेल यूर सर्विस टू ओवर हियर What have I liked about my service here? Yes. Ah, I I like the um, interesting people who have a very um, very vibrant and real look at life. Since when you are giving your service over here? For approximately four years. Last four years. Huh. I said, do you have a female doctoress as well as? Do I have female doctoress? Oh, let's see. Yes. Uh, so my wife is a midwife who primary specialty is in female conditions, um, particularly pregnancy. Okay. Ah, uh, if I talk to USA, you are already doctor over there since long, or here also. What the basically difference you find in patient in America and in India over here? Okay, the primary difference, and this is one of the more significant challenges that we have, is in the what we call health literacy of the patients. Basically, where they are starting from in their understanding of disease processes and health. How many patients do you per day check up? So we are seeing about twenty to thirty patients per provider per day. That means uh, here is the lot of patients are uh, suffering. You mean there seem to be plenty of people who are looking for help. Okay, were you here in the lockdown period during the epidemic, Corona? Yes, uh, my wife and I stayed here during the pandemic um, up until the middle of the Delta wave. Okay. How did you serve that time, uh, patient? Do you have uh, that period, the critical patient? Did you face, did you face a, that sort of challenge? So th that was very interesting. That during the initial part of the pandemic, people here seemed to do relatively well. Um, so we were not seeing a lot of critical patients. However, during Delta, things changed, and that was one of the reasons that we actually. Closed the clinic, such that patients would not come to us when they really needed to be in the hospital. As sometimes the challenges of the uh, patient, like the female pregnancy cases and uh, rest of the other kind of, how do you tackle those patients? Um, firstly, always I was trying to understand their story um, to give them an opportunity to. Talk about what their real concerns are, and uh, and then systemically to think about what sort of medical conditions are likely to be present, and what are things that we can actually do something about. How many doctor and doctors have we stop over here? So we have three providers at the clinic currently. Okay, what uh, are you the uh, specialist doctor of MD? What is Your degree and all, like in India, MBBS and like MD and what is the India? Okay, so I am a MD allopathic doctor with a postgraduate certification or what we call a fellowship in family medicine. I do you have the facility over here testing patient machines? What you are having here? So we have some limited capacity to do testing. For instance, uh, we can look at urine specimens and ECG, um, very basic things of that type. Okay, for how many years uh, visa do you have got to uh, give your service here? So, uh, my our, our visa yes. is a, it's a five year. Visa. You'll be here in five years. Um, our our thought at this point is that. We're here until somebody decides that they don't need us anymore. 
Okay, suppose some patient is in critical condition. Do you support your mission, uh, your missionary, the organization? Do you support a patient for? So, do we support patients financially? Yes. yes. Um, sometimes, um, for instance, for some individuals who need blood testing that uh, has to be done somewhere else, we will occasionally help them. Uh, our expectation is that individuals will also be working to help themselves, um, but uh, we very much want to be uh, coming along with them to get what is necessary. Okay, do, do you really, this is the place of the pious place, Maganga Yamna National River. It's a source of from here where you are uh, putting on these days. So serving to humility over here, how did you feel? Um, I, th I feel very privileged to be here. Uh, the people are lovely. They're interesting. It's a beautiful location. Um, and to have that rich cultural tradition of Maganga uh, is quite fun. Uh, do you refer sometime patient in district hospitals in some like the uh, capital of Dehradun and the daily life? Do you? Refer sometime? Um, uh, oh, yes. So we are frequently referring patients uh, elsewhere, particularly to Dehradun or Rishikesh. Um, fortunately, we have not had too many highly complicated patients that have had. Have, I'm sorry, I struggled on that. It, it's partly a question of what the condition they have, but also what their capacity is. To be in a place like Dili um, at, the, at the quaternary hospitals, it's expensive. Okay, do, do, do you remember since you started your service here for the last four years, did you remember some such an incident when you faced a challenges and difficulty with the patient? Um, we had a, a young patient uh, early on who proved to be a significant challenge from the perspective that we knew what he needed to have done, um, but that needed to be done elsewhere, Not, nothing that could be done here. And so trying to coordinate that uh, referral without physically holding their hand through the process uh, to be an insurmountable challenge. So do you uh, do the uh, patient? Do you face a difficulty while communicating in language problem like that? <laughs> How do you uh, handle the cases? Yeah. So my huge challenge working here has been the language, okay. uh, whether it's speaking Hindi or Garhwali. Okay. Um, my capacity to speak those languages is very limited so i'm reliant for the most part on okay. can you speak some line in hindi if uh, do you learn hindi and uh, the mother tongue of you so, yeah i'm i'm trying to learn hindi yes kya boli ya suppose patient aata hai kaise entertain karte hain aap so main yes mera hindi bahut khurab hai um lekin hard in me कोशिश करूंगा पेशेंट के साथ करते हैं बातें क्या पेशेंट के साथ बातें करते हैं पेशेंट से जो पेशेंट आते हैं सो सो पेशेंट से ट्रांसलेट इज जरूरी है पार्टली बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू गेट द हिस्ट्री राइट राइट अम एंड विद टाइम आई कैन समटाइम्स अंडरस्टैंड एज लॉन्ग एज इट्स हिंदी इफ इट्स गारवाली देन ओके डू यू हैव एज अ हेल्पिंग हैंड ओवर हियर सम स्टाफ या सो I have kept a translator working okay. with me. Right, then you are you are having the translator. What would you like to, uh, to uh, tell to the uh, normal citizen, any public patient? To what message would you like to pass? Message. Um, health okay. is something that happens at home okay. by drinking good water, eating good food, and staying active. It's not something that typically comes out of a bottle or out of some magical room somewhere. Do you check the daily patients are coming or do you are having off 
What is the off day? Right. So our clinic is open on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three days Three in days. a week. Okay. Um, but then the other days we reserve for doing house calls okay. and for minor emergencies. Emergency, you can... Yeah. When, just, when yeah. patients call, I right. have a question. Do you visit here right there? Do you give your service? Yes, um, those are sometimes the most interesting things when we okay. actually visit a patient's house. Okay. So, do you enjoy to uh, serve the humanity? That's what I'm here for. Oh, that, that's why you for. How many members you have? Family member? Do you have the, your wife, kid? How many members? Uh, so, I am married and I have two children. Okay. Where they are? So, I have a son and a daughter. They are both in America. America. Huh? And uh, other kid? That, that is both awesome. are India. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so both of the children are in America. Okay. What are they doing? My son makes skis. Okay. For downhill snow skiing. Right. And my daughter is a nursing student. Okay. Your wife with you here. She's a doctor. Yes. So, so my wife is here. She is working with uh, pregnant women. Okay. Your motto to serve the society. I mean, poor people and like that. That that is what uh, that is why I'm here is That's to, to which organization behind you support it over here. So Himalayan Inland Mission Community Health Development Program is the NGO that okay. sponsors us and that we work with. Okay, that's right. Ah. Thank you very much to joining me. What is a Doctor Divine Nibor? Or here, if I talk about remote area, that is. माँ गंगा यमुना का जो जिला है वहां पर हिमालयन इनलैंड मिशन के द्वारा कम्युनिटी हेल्थ डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम के तहत यहां पर काम करते हैं कई सालों से सेवा देते हैं इनसे पूर्व में यहां पर डॉक्टर किप थे जिन्होंने यहां पर कई सालों सेवा दी दूर दूर से लोग यहां पर आते हैं मंडे ट्यूजडे वेनेसडे मंडे वेडनेसडे फ्राइडे यानी एक एक दिन छोड़ करके सेवा देते हैं इमरजेंसी में आप किसी भी टाइम आ सकते हैं पूरी मसीह लगी हुई में बात करूं लगभग हाउ मेनी रूम्स डू हैव ओवर हियर लगभग चार कमरे का यहां पर हॉस्पिटल और तमाम सेवा मिलती है और डॉक्टर्स भी है डॉक्टर भी है टोटल स्टाफ अराउंड हाउ मेनी स्टाफ टोटल अराउंड आठ से दस लोगों की स्टाफ है यहाँ पर लोगों रोजगार भी मिला हुआ है आइए यहां पर अपनी सेवा दें मात्र दस और आप अंदाजा लगाइए अमेरिका से यहां पर सेवा देने आ रहे मानवता के लिए और जब मैं जाने का प्रयास कर रहा था उनका कहना है कि मानव सेवा सबसे बड़ी सेवा है और सरकार का जो जियो बना हुआ यहां के मैं डॉक्टर डॉक्टर्स की बात करूं तो सरकारी हॉस्पिटल में कई जगह बहुत बुरी दशा देखने को मिलती है डॉक्टरेट करने के बाद डॉक्टरेस बनने के बाद बड़े शहरों में जाना चाहते हैं मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटी में ही ड्यूटी लगाना चाहते हैं आप देखिए एमडी हैं एक डॉक्टर हैं 99 से कई सालों यानी अमेरिका में सेवा दी उन्होंने उसके बाद इंडिया में सेवा दे रहे यानी इंटीरियर एरिया मां गंगा यमुना उद्गम जिला है और शायद यहां से यदि मैं बात करूं तो हिमालय और गंगा के बाद चाइना बॉर्डर भी चालू हो जाता है मुश्किल से तीन किलोमीटर की दूरी से उस जगह पर इस सेवा देते हैं और तो शायद इनसे सीख लेनी चाहिए लोगों को जब डॉक्टर ने डॉक्टर्स बने तो इस मातृभूमि के अपनी सेवा दें ताकि वास्तविक ही डॉक्टर बनने की मानव की जो सेवा है वो पूरी हो पाए इन द लास्ट वर्ड व्हाट वू लाइक टू टेल टू आवर डॉक्टर एंड डॉक्टर्स दे जस्ट गो एट देयर ड्यूटी इन बिग सिटी मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटी वॉट वू लाइक सजेस्ट आई थिंक यू मिस ग्रेट ऑपरचुनिटी टू engage in the real lives of indians okay. um this is a wonderful place to okay. meet people you like to over here people yeah. how did you enjoy their trade culture would you like something else? i'm sorry yeah. our culture trade and the living style uh-huh. the religious country india is the one of the religious country uh-huh. so would you like to tell something about this um so india has been a wonderfully colorful and vibrant smiling culture culture you uh, do do you prefer the uh, the culture of indian culture uh, 
prefer Old Old West. The, there are so many wonderful places in this world to be in. Okay. And they all have different flavors. And did you visit the rest part of India? Unfortunately, I've not actually gotten to visit much of India. Did you visit South India like Mumbai and some Kerala, Tamil Nadu like? No. Not yet. Okay. But do you like to live in here? Oh, very much so. You love? It's been wonderful. The climate and all that. Uh, I wish it was colder. Okay. Right. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. How many years uh, uh, should you expect that you'll serve here? How many what? How many years you'll be continue? Uh, um, we don't know. Okay. Uh, the... After five years visa, you'll go back. Again, you may become. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Um, our intention is to stay here as long as we feel that we are really filling a need okay. in this community. Right. Thank you very much to joining me and you have served this. You are providing over here. Dr. Divine Nibor Thi Mere Saad Aaj Par Manav Seva Ke Lee After completing MD Or Dr. Bandi Ke Baad Kai Saal Amerika Seva Dei Ne Baad Aad इस मातृभूमि सेवा दे रहे बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू